suscríbete y activa la campanita, no lo olvides. Hey, what happened, Panda? Welcome to Reventer Bone. This is Falcon BMS in the version 4.34. And today we are going to speak about the ELS system to landing in these uh, bad weather conditions. It's going to be easy. Uh, first of all, uh, as I always tell you, I never talk about radios. Today I only going to make a small petition to the tower to get the lights activated, but about radios, I have other tutorials. This is only about the system in the COVID. Okay. The most important thing in this version, also in the previous version, it was very, very, very important, is this button over here, this knob, really. Okay, the audio two panel in the ELS system. Just turn right clockwise to turn it the system on. Okay. Other important thing is the upfront controls. In the number one is Takan plus ELS system, ILS system, and you can see here ILS is on. And if I turn off this knob here, ILS is off. Okay, that's the important option here to activate the system. Okay, uh, you can know more about the ICP system from controls. I have a playlist about all the uh, panels about the ICP. You can check them and uh, you can learn more about that. But today, only speaking about the number one in the ACP, uh, as you can see, here is about the Takan channel, band of the Takan channel, also ILS frequency, and the room wide that you are going to use. Okay, uh, you can see the scratch patch have three positions this one, this one, and this one. Okay, the, mi the main one is going to be this. In this one, if you type three numbers, uh, one to three numbers, uh, you are entering a Takan channel. Using zero, the zero number, you are going to change the band of the Takan, Yankee or X-ray, and if you type four or more numbers, you are going to introduce a frequency on the system. In this case, this airport, I am going to land in the runway 180, in the runway, on the runway 18, really, heading is 180, and the frequency for that ILS is 110.3. 110.3. You don't have to type the point, okay? Only the numbers. And push enter. And already the frequency was already entered, but as you can see, it's there. As you can see, uh, when you put a number there, uh, the scratch touch jumps jump to the course. Yes, course. That course is the runway real heading. In this case, that runway 18 really have the heading 176 you ha only have to type it here and it's done okay and you come back here to turn on the ELS system it's already turned it on but you want to see them in any place no uh, you have to use the your AE system now this is new in this uh, new copy in Falcon BMS maybe you can find the F16 block uh, 15 or 50 have um, have a different system okay that that are some difference that we are going to find in this new version of Falcon BMS we have a different F16 copies but in this block 52 uh, Charlie Mike uh, it's the AG system what is implemented and if you can see here you cannot in the right moment you only see this bottom over here with a M but you should in this on Google, here you can see one knob here, another knob here. Okay, these two knobs are the normal ones, the course knob where you are going to set your radial for your Takan channel, for example. In this one, normally, if you are using your Takan to land in this airbase, you will set the cursor 180 to get your. Uh, correct approximation from very far away and the heading is only for autopilot okay the M as in mode the first mode that you are going to find is PLS what is ILS in really and you can see here in the header display is turned on but I don't get any signals for that is dashed and also there is no signal for that with this red flag 
but uh, this PLS system is now uh, using with NAV as reference waypoint for that is NAV but I can use it with the TACAN again click EL system with TACAN if I get TACAN information I could align with uh, this radial or whatever okay and another one is just TACAN okay and the next one is again navigation ELS with waypoint ELS with TACAN only TACAN navigation ELS waypoint ELS TACAN for example okay I'm going to turn right to get the airbase I know the airbase is in the waypoint one it is going to be easy for me and I hope it's going to be fast normally when I land in no visual conditions in instrument condition uh, I will I love to see the ground <laughs> okay I don't want to be in the middle of the clouds but that's other history I'm going to speed the things up a little bit on this side to do not get the correct line outside over here the ultra fast speed here okay I think I just get out really okay I think must be almost in there no how much distance I have okay 30 I'm going to ask tower to tell the tower I want to land it's important um, sorry approach uh, one unrestricted approach for this is going to work out one one a 16 25 miles north 2000 inbound for free landing for free landing good morning talking one one in a sound approach continue in now the straight in approach runway one eight welcome back the al system eight three okay now eight three perfect the AL system don't have a very uh, long range. Uh, maybe you only are going to get ILS signals around 50, 20 nautical miles out from the, the system, okay? Uh, for example, now I am uh, around 20, 20 miles. I'm getting closer. And I want to show you that it's a very easy system if you, are, you have this line command sharing turned on. If you turn it off, it's going to be uh, a bit difficult, but not too much, because it's only manual thing. With that on, it's going to be really, really easy. Come on, please. I, okay, here I get signal. I get signal from the left or right, but not on my fly, fly path, on vertical, okay? For that, the vertical one is dashed, and the, the horizontal one is dashed, and the vertical one is a uh, straight line, okay? As you can see, here I have a small circle. Small circle. This was the tadpole, now is the ILS system. This command steering. Okay. If I turn off the command steering using the number zero, you can see this become again to the tadpole and again this command steering. If you well okay, I'm going to down, landing gear is down now. Okay, it's done. Uh, using this command steering is really easy because you only have to put your fly path marker over this small circle and you are going to land the IL system perfectly. Okay, if you turn that system off, you have to do it totally manually. Okay, that's only the, the difference in that. Of course, I recommend you to use command steering, otherwise you can, but if the system is not available or whatever, you only have to turn it off and that's all. Uh, I love to get the digital entry display data on my head of display, as you can see, but in the previous uh, video you see, if using uncaged, you can take that info out, but now that info also take out the ILS system then too bad for me i have to turn off that information on the head display but it's not a big deal only turn it off and that's all folks okay following the circle is quite crazy i think what is doing now but i'm going to trash in it okay i'm trash 
Hey, interesting. Haven't rushed on the circle because I am 12 miles out. Yeah, it could be good. Okay. I don't forget to turn on the landing gear lights. This one on the nose is important. And now I get the uh, flight path information also on the screen. As you can see, now the dark pole have also a small lines telling me that uh, I am high, I am low, I have, I have to go up, I have to go down to get that horizontal line that is telling me go up or go down. You have, you have also that information here, this is bars here, but it's more difficult here rather on the HEDA display. Uh, in this airport, Kunsan, I only have the inner uh, marker. Some airport have two markers. One, one, one. Contact tower. Okay, Landing. thank you. Two, nine, two, three, zero. We are going to forget communication. Remember, my tutorials are without communications. But I was telling you, some airport have two markers. When you fly over that marker, this light over here becomes uh, flashing. And that is uh, to check your altitude according to the airport uh, cards. Okay? Uh, the other in this airport is not going to be because it must be on the water. And the inner marker uh, normally is about, uh, I don't know the distance from the runway, but you have to be around uh, 300 feet over the, uh, over the surface of the ground. Okay? Let's continue. Now it is going to be slow because you have to keep parameters, speed, AOA, angle of attack, and of course the cross. If you turn off the system, the command steering, as you can see, all, nothing changed, only the cross, only the tap pole, sorry, the cross is still there. You only have to do the cross manually. The idea is to make a perfect cross and follow it. If the horizontal line goes up, you have to go up until it goes down, then go down until keep it in the middle. And the same for the left. Try to follow the line, but not too much. As when you are close to the runway, this is going to become uh, harder because the line is going to move faster. Don't, don't be crazy. Don't try to follow them. You small, only do small correction, corrections, okay? And see in the ground now. There is a minimal, minimal visibility that you need to have to land according to some uh, ILS systems. In Falcon BMS, I don't know what is the level of ILS that we have implemented, but in real life, there, is, there are different levels, and some of them only let you land if you really see the room why with your eyes okay that that is quite uh, interesting there are different levels of of, of um, accuracy i think is the word i'm already seeing the room why at the end of the view and i'm waiting for the light it's going to be here i want i want you can see that light for that i am looking in this position the airplane Copy, sorry, and only try to keep now the angle of attack and the perfect cross. It is not perfect, but it's almost really good. Now it's perfect in that moment. Okay, keep it there. Keep it there, my plane. Keep it for perfect. And listen. In a few seconds, we are going to listen to some beep, 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 and check the light on the down on the view. Here. There, look the light, look the altitude, 300 feet, perfect, okay. To white, to red, perfect. Air, air brakes out because I want to make do some air braking, some engine push here. An idol, and this was really soft. That down now, some idol breaking here. Okay. 
Okay. And time to leave the runway, I think. As you can see, it's really easy to do the ILS system. Of course, uh, if you don't see the runway, it's going to be some um, panic, but you have to trust in the system, believe in your engineer, engineers and your mechanics, and fly the plane with your heart, okay? Believe it indeed. I hope you enjoyed the video as usual. Uh, sorry about my English, you know, I am not a. I am a Spanish. Uh, I am Spanish. My English is, is that accent. Okay. As I, as I always tell you, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment below, don't give a star, and the most important thing, be happy. Bye bye. No olvides suscribirte, darle a like, y revisar mis últimos videos. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up and check my other videos.